Today, God proclaims that you are a five-pointed star radiating through grace. I assured Abraham of antiquity that his descendants would be as numerous as the stars in the heavens, and in Christ, this fate is conferred upon you. I have reserved numerous diverse and unconventional partnerships for you. Just as I organize the celestial bodies into constellations to proclaim my glory, I have similarly structured your interactions with individuals you would not otherwise engage with. The Father advises you to maintain an open mind, engaging with individuals who may not necessarily share your thoughts, actions, or speech. My wisdom is multifaceted and will consequently be manifested in various individuals and diverse perspectives through the lens of my word. Upon entering new connections, you will encounter novel insights presented to you akin to a ticker tape emerging from the sublime. It is an innovative game accompanied by a novel set of regulations. A cloud like a man's hand is visible above you. The period of abundant rainfall is approaching, leading to significant growth in your life. You are not anticipating a vague future occurrence. You are now entering the realm of knowledge and experiences for which you were designed, guiding others within my kingdom. Embrace humility and it will grant you a perpetual opportunity for new beginnings. You will maintain a perpetual look of astonishment. Others may label you as an uninformed zealot. You are experiencing a new level of splendor. Your accomplishments in life are insignificant compared to a vineyard. A multitude of individuals will establish careers disseminating the vintage of what I am now revealing to you. The Father proclaims that it is your time for blessings, your time for blessings has arrived. God proclaims that today is a day to consume the meat, savor the sweetness, and commemorate your salvation. The adversary seeks to exhaust you with incessant threats and even the superstitions of others. Nevertheless, are you genuinely troubled by the strategies of the defeated team? The Father proclaims that you are a victor in Christ. I envelop you with my wings and elevate you with my feathers. I am supporting you today and elevating you to greater achievements and honors. There exists a moment to serve as a sentinel on the wall, yet there is also a moment to repose with me and rest in the bow of the vessel amidst the tempest. The Father asserts that you are more than only a survivor. I have summoned you and ordained you to prosper and succeed in the face of your adversaries. I will nourish you abundantly in the presence of your most formidable adversary. I do not flee from the threats of the malevolent entity, nor do I wish for you to be afraid. I have not bestowed upon you a spirit of fear, but rather one of love, strength, and a sound intellect that aligns with my thoughts in times of pressure. Therefore, the Father proclaims joy and invites you to commemorate my vigilance over you today. You are secure in my eternal embrace and will seek God's salvation in the realm of the living, for this is your period of blessing, impervious to the opposition of any individual or malevolent force. Angels proclaim today, Beloved, your tranquility and assurance instill fear in the adversary. Individuals who bluster and vociferate with piercing insistence reveal their inner cowardice. You do not belong to the timid, you are of the warrior class. The adversary seeks to stifle your mirth and coerce you into confronting him on his condition. The adversary employs subterfuge and illusion, characterized by deceit and misdirection. Do not yield to his deceit and folly. In the noble struggle of religion, you embody the principality and the power. 
Satan is merely the usurper whom Adam permitted to assume unlawful control via disobedience. Do not tolerate this, dear. I have situated you in your existence just as I positioned Adam and Eve in the garden. You are both a caregiver and a guardian. The angels wielding blazing swords are prepared to expel the enemy's usurpations and uphold the faith-filled aspirations of your heart and the proclamations of your voice. Therefore, make yourself comfortable and relax. Establish your authority and calm yourself, as terror and frenzy do not pertain to you. Your share comprises tranquility, repose, and assurance. This induces a state of anxiety in the adversary of your spirit, as he recognizes his incapacity to disrupt the fate of one who finds solace in me. Angels proclaim that today you are being elevated from a soldier to a warrior. Warriors exist for combat. Warriors reject the notion of defeat. Warriors persist unwaveringly and refuse to capitulate. The warrior spirit of Jehovah, Lord of hosts, resides within you today. I am the deity of warfare and the sovereign of armies. I summon you at this moment not for conscription as a draftee, but as a volunteer for the combat of the centuries. A soldier often seeks to evade combat when feasible. I urge you to embrace a warrior ascension into the arena of confrontation with a singular objective, the annihilation of the adversary. The father asserts, I have equipped and instructed you. I have selected you to be part of my elite special troops. You possess proficiency and cunning. You are bold and unrestrained as you enter the fray. Gaze upon the conflict and confront the adversary directly. You will not only perceive the adversary, but you will also behold me as John the Revelator beheld me, with eyes resembling fire, feet akin to metal, and a sword emanating from my lips. Permit the sword of my spirit to adhere to your hand today, declares the Father until I transform your adversaries into mere annotations of your triumph and place your foot upon the neck of every challenge posed by the Dark One. Before the video continues, I request you to help by super thanks for my financial help. Today, God is indicating that this is the moment in your life that His sovereignty and providence converge. I possess the autonomy to act according to my desires without seeking approval from others. I am the Lord your God, there is no other besides me. My resolve is to transition you from mere visitation to the residence of my spirit, enabling you to comprehend the entirety of my essence that encompasses you completely. I refer to you as my beloved, as such, you are the focus of my intent, my fervor, and my complete attachment. Love constitutes my fundamental essence, asserts the Father, so, love should be your initial experience each morning and your final authentic encounter with my presence as you succumb to slumber. Love is the reason for my presence in your life, and love will ensure my companionship when you awaken each morning throughout your earthly existence. Affection is not genuine affection until it is acknowledged by the Father. The demise of the Son epitomizes my affection. Why would I conceal from you any inferior measurement? Therefore, inquire. Request that your delight may be complete. Request to understand the extent of my commitment to illustrating the significance of that monumental act from 2000 years ago in your present experience. Jesus Christ asserts today that your prayers serve as the ink in which angelic requisitions are inscribed. Your prayers serve as the conduits to heaven and the determinants of responses that manifest on earth. Allow your mouth to engage in prayer. The Father advises that your speech should be abundant, fervent, and genuine. 
I am attentive, my ear inclined to perceive, acknowledge, and respond to the lament of your heart. I am attentive to every minor worry in your life. I have meticulously observed every detail of need, desire, and passion. The Father states, I am working, I am moving, and I am never late. This is your period of growth, proclamation, and decree to declare your anticipation of my fidelity, abundance, and favor. You are the addressee. The wreath of my favor is placed upon your shoulders today. You are favored, and you shall witness my completeness, my fidelity, and the resolutions you have yearned for. It defines my identity and my actions. You will not be dissatisfied. You will not experience humiliation or denial, for I am present to bring forth my deliverance in your territory. God proclaims that today I have brought you into the uniqueness of my kingdom. Do not be astonished or troubled by the looks and scowls of people who possess little or no understanding of my glory. They will regard you with disdainful looks, yet in moments of desperation, they will seize your hand and hold your sleeves, imploring that the unique attributes of your life become theirs as well. I am an extraordinary and distinct God, and I have elevated you to be an exceptional and unique person by my will. The Father declares, I select the feeble. I select the foundation. I select the foolish, the discarded, and the despised. The Father proclaims, I select you. Liberate yourself today from the expectations of humanity and the deceit of human pride, image, and dignity. Understand your acceptance, consent, and authorization. I permit you to explore my domain and to discover a dwelling inaccessible to others. You are my cherished one and the focus of my devotion. From my exalted and sacred elevation today, I envelop you in my benevolence and reveal myself as the Creator El and your constant provision. God instructs you to immerse yourself fully in His presence in your life today. Exaltation proclaims the Father. Exalt till the essence of worship manifests. Engage in worship until the glory manifests, the stand in the glory. I have neither altered my decision nor constrained my intentions. Oh my dear, I am prepared to assess my value in your life based on the extent of your praise, the profundity of your worship, and your fervor for glory. You will witness what others have yearned to behold. You will recognize the elevated realms of my presence as your dwelling rather than only an infrequent visitation. The Father proclaims that one should not be content with visitational glory, for habitational glory is presently accessible to you. Rejuvenate yourself. Consolidate your emotions and utilize your intellect. Allow everything within you to be dedicated to magnifying, praising, and worshiping, and you will perceive what I will accomplish with a heart that is unfettered and wholly devoted to me. You are the chosen one. The Father proclaims, I select you. I have designated you as the disciple of my eye, and I shall envelop you in my safeguarding, sustenance, and intent like never before in your existence. A new day has arrived, and the new path has been revealed to you, declares the Father. God commands us to create a sacred sound today. The voice of adulation is silenced by death, how can the deceased extol me? You belong to the living, not the deceased. The Father urges you to express your praise vociferously today. Exhibit excessive enthusiasm in your commendation. Allow your commendation to be so exuberant that it provokes every religious sentiment present in the room. There is no dignity in clenched hands, sealed lips, and shut hearts. Embrace with fervor, vocalize your sentiments, and extend your hands in militant adoration. Applaud, for your adversary is vanquished before he can unsheath his weapon, proclaims the Father. The Father proclaims joy. Rejoice and recognize that my melody resonates within the tune you perform. 
My melody reverberates and resounds through the land, breaking the iron bars and brass gates that have confined my people from their joy. The Father proclaims that the river of joy is flowing towards you today. It is surging forth to cleanse the remnants of dawn and the shrouds of grief. The Father proclaims, Rejoice anew, for today is a day of blessing, renewal, and restoration, affecting even the sinews and tissues of your youth, mind, and spirit. Proclaim loudly, and I shall be recognized, observed, and revealed throughout your territory. God proclaims today that I have fashioned you in my likeness. Your ultimate purpose is to convey my image, my completeness, my authority, and my character to a dysfunctional world afflicted by sin and estranged from its intended purpose. You are not meant to endure a feeble, disordered, or anemic religious existence. My decree, my dominion is your share. Your complete self-realization and established mission is to gaze into the mirror and perceive me reflecting at you. Before the video ends I just want you to share this video with your friends and family. I am projecting my essence from eternity and my present existence into a temporal cosmos through you. I am manifesting the eternal nature of my being and my power via the community of redeemed individuals who are to embody the perpetual praise of my glory. This is your share, and I do not approach these matters in a vestigial or feeble manner. You are the focal point of my purpose, I have no alternative contenders for the whole of my glory besides you. I am unwilling to execute my command and authority today without your close participation and complete entitlement. Today, God asserts that order is the primary principle of heaven. I am organizing your life according to the order of heaven and my kingdom, rather than the order of man. What humanity refers to as decently and in order, I perceive as chaos and illegitimate authority. I am dismantling human institutions to establish the reality of my lordship and my redeemed society on earth. I am unifying you as I am unified. Within the enigma of my being resides the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There exists complete union and unfathomable submission. I dispatched the Son, and the Son arrived. The Son returned and the Spirit was sent to inhabit your life on earth. The love commission of heaven was executed within me on your behalf by order. Allow the order of heaven to assert its authority in your life today, proclaims the Father. The celestial order will eradicate the terrestrial chaos. When your life circumstances contradict my promise, I will assert my authority to restore you to yoke easy and burden light. There is no illness in my order. Poverty does not exist in my order. My order is devoid of tyranny, guilt, or judgment. Permit my government to manifest inside you, augmenting your presence, as we collaboratively delineate your limits, expelling all disarray from adversaries and instituting the complete extent of my blessings within your confines. God proclaims, today, encounter my supremacy. Perceive and comprehend via experience and profound understanding that there is no one save me. I am subordinate to no one. I was not formed by anyone, for I possess neither a beginning nor an end. I am the self-existent essence of life, serving as an inexhaustible source of blessings, benefits, and abundance in your daily existence. Nothing within me should exist outside of me. Nothing external to me should reside within me. I recall nothing because I had neglected to forget anything. I acquire no knowledge as there is nothing I am unaware of. The Father asserts that he requires no knowledge, as he possesses all truth concurrently. I am the deity of the eternal now, and at this moment, I have loved you and shall persist in loving you by both practical and miraculous means. Your situation does not astonish me, for I am the God who comprehends the conclusion from the inception. 
I possess all your days and consistently infuse each instant and second of your life with blessing, meaning, and fulfillment. I am the sovereign of the cosmos, reigning as Lord and Deity eternally. I created the universe from my eternal presence and I reside beyond it with supreme authority, yet I humbled myself by becoming incarnate in the form of Mary's child. I am the celestial sovereign. I possess within myself a harmonious communion of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and today I extend an invitation for you to join this fellowship of glory. God asserts today that my kingdom in your life is neither neutral nor inactive. I do not observe your life with distant enjoyment as you endure hardship and suffering. I empathize with your vulnerabilities. I have presented a resolution and an exit strategy from the predicament. My dominion is my sovereignty, and I share authority with no one. I am dismantling the unlawful authority that would infringe upon you. My authority is entering your temporal experience, granting you liberation from constraint, and inviting you into a voluntary partnership and submission to my order and dominion. The Father asserts, I have consistently been the absolute sovereign in your life. From the moment of your birth, I have consistently maintained complete authority. Acknowledge my Lordship. Permit me to be not only Savior but also Lord, God, Sovereign, and Ruler. The Father asserts that this is not a negotiation. This is your chance to completely abandon the unsuccessful paradigm of self and embrace the ascension experience, attaining deliverance, health, provision, and destiny at a scale you have envisioned but have not yet realized. Now is your present time, and now is when I will be recognized as I am on your behalf. God urges you to decide now to participate in my growth on earth. You are integral to a divine plan initiated by my hand, designed to persist until all of humanity recognizes Jesus Christ as Lord. The kingdoms of the earth shall become the kingdoms of your God and Christ, as stated by the Father. The expansion of my reign on earth will be limitless. My dominion is expanding around you, and my dominion is growing within you. Let the lament of your soul be, Thy kingdom come, the bridegroom responds, even so. The bride exclaims, Come, Lord Jesus. Allow the lament of your soul to harmonize with the celestial melody, for the moment is imminent. The wedding season is upon us, states the Father. Align yourself not with human reasoning but with divine fervor. My kingdom is not an austere, alienated, or remote notion. My kingdom is an essential power on earth and in your existence, striving to establish domination that eradicates and suppresses all authority and elements that oppose its essence and my commitment to you. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and subscribe to the channel and check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. God proclaims today that He is urging you to commence living your life within the broader context of His Kingdom. If you dedicate yourselves more profoundly to the expanse of my Kingdom today, I will manifest my presence upon you in a validating manner. I will commence ministering to you from an elevated position, signifying the onset of a season characterized by distinct guidance. As you collaborate with me in this focus, I will elevate you says the Father, into a distinct realm of consciousness and understanding of my intentions for you as an individual and as a part of my collective objectives being realized on earth. The Father declares it is time for implementation. It is time to remove the training wheels and earnestly pursue my kingdom like never before. Submit to my intentions, declares the Father, become an ardent seeker of the kingdom, and I will demonstrate my faithfulness by bestowing upon you the complete rewards of paradise. I will deplete the riches of heaven for the one who fully dedicates themselves to my purposes and chooses this day to be irrevocably committed to the kingdom. God instructs us not to be daunted by life's challenges, 
but to be consumed by my spirit. Focus on my visage today and disregard, merely disregard the actions and words of the adversary. Walking with me will incite conflict, although I am at your side. I am the deity of warfare, and in my presence, you have all the resources and authority to engage in the righteous struggle and prevail. The Father asserts that you are not a loser. You are contending from a position of certain triumph, including the triumph of the cross. Therefore, accommodate the possibility of victory and cease persuading yourself towards defeat. You are not a failure in my presence, where loss is eradicated. Do not let the fear of loss distract you. Instead, focus on cultivating a loving closeness with me. Regardless of the circumstances, anticipate experiencing joy, despite the magnitude of the task. Utilize my delight as a source of rejuvenation and do not oppose the circumstances, oppose the devil. Maintain unwavering determination, and ultimately, the funds will be deposited, healing will be evident, and restoration will occur.